Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a custom QR code or at least add some customization to the code. I'm using a site called Picnic. It's P I C N I K. It's a free graphics editing site where you can upload images and do some customizing. So just go to picnic.com and in the center of the page you'll see upload photos. Just click on upload button and then select wherever you have your QR code you've previously created. Say open. And now what I want to do is I want to add a border around this image so I have a place to put some text. So you're going to come up here to this tab and click on the Create tab and over on the left you'll see a border option. Uh, you don't want to use black unless of course um, you could use black and then place white text around the border or white images. I'm going to go ahead and just change that to being a white border. Um, make it about 25 in thickness and then say Apply. Another nice little feature on Picnic is this drop shadow you'll see it creates around the, the base of the image like it's lifted off the page and so I'm gonna make that distance about 9 and maybe go with about a 60 degree angle and then you get this nice little lift and then apply that now the secret to getting any of the images or text around the side is to just go up here to the top toolbar click on text and now you can add any text you like so you could say um, visit my AR blog. And now when you say add, you can change this text. Right now it's white so you can't see it. So I'm going to make it a nice red. And then you can resize that text right here in this little toolbar on the side to fit nicely right there on your image. And then just drag it where you want it to appear. So I'll put that right there. And you know what? I think I'm going to go with a little bit darker red. There we go. Now you can add different text. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put something else here. Scan QR code here. And we'll add that. And again, I'm going to give it a different color. I'll go with the blue and I'll resize it so that'll fit right on the bottom portion here. And we'll just drag that down there. And then here's a little tip. If you want to add some text to the sidebar, uh, you can just type here, uh, let's say, I sell homes. And we'll add that. We'll give it a nice little green color. And we'll resize it. Now, to get it to sh appear on the sidebar, there's a little circle up here in the top. I'll move this over. And you can just turn it sideways. And now you have text going up and down. That's still a little large, so I'll resize it just a bit. And I think you guys get the point. It's a little crooked. Try to straighten that out a bit. And you could spend uh, a lot of time doing this. So, you know, just whatever, however you want to customize yours, take whatever time necessary, do quality job. Uh, the other thing I want to show you is there are some cool little stickers here on Picnic. So let's say you want to add a little man to the sidebar. Um, I've done that on one of my images on my Q and it, or I mean my AR. QR code sidebar and you can make him any color you want and you could add maybe a, a little telephone or um, This is where I got my images and I'm gonna make that kind of a bright red uh, Let's do this over here. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's go purple And then I'm gonna make him a little bit smaller by just dragging this icon and then spinning it so it has a little flip to it and then the last thing I might add since this is a contact or a link to my page would be this little envelope and again I'll grab my envelope pull him over here to the side maybe make him red and resize him a little bit give him a little twist and a turn and there you have a custom little QR code image now to save this what you want to do is come up here to this top tab click on the save and share and I like to save everything, you know, you can save it at a lesser quality for file size, but these are pretty small files. And then just give it a name, I'll call this demo. And you can also set your dimensions. If you're going to put it on the sidebar of most blogs, you want to keep it under about 200. If you're going to add it to flyers or whatnot. Again, this is an image that can be put on anything, a flyer, a business card, a blog post. I even used it as a Facebook. Um, image as my profile uh, avatar or picture so very cool anybody can point their phone or their 
reader at this and it will take them right to the site that you've specified when you created your QR code. So all I have to do now is click on save photo um, and save that to my desktop. And I've already done this previously so it should be saving that. And that's it folks. Now you can go add that image to your website, your blogs, your flyers, anything uh, and everything I would suggest. And that way when people point their reader at your code, it'll take them wherever you want them to go. Pretty cool stuff. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks.